What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trent. You tuned in once again to another divine video, man. I don't know who watching this video, um, but God gave me a word for you. All right. And it's a good it's a good word, because after what I'm about to tell you, after what I'm about to tell you that God said. You about to take off. You about to you about to go to heights that you never been before. And I just want to let you know this show last day playing around. OK, this show last day being on the same level that you on right now. You're not going to be on the same level after this video. I'm just letting you know this right now because it's somebody, it's somebody that's watching this video right now and you long overdue. Like you long overdue for your success. You're supposed to already been successful. You long overdue as far as your finances go. You're supposed to been had more than enough provisions, more than enough currency right now. Okay? You're supposed to been done moved and done went somewhere totally different from what you always been growing up at, you know? God told me to tell you that it's long overdue. You long overdue. But that's why you watching this video right now because I'm about to catapult you into your next season, all right? And this gonna be your best season. Listen, I don't know, but what you gonna have to start doing from this point forward is you gonna have to start locking into your vision. Somebody ain't locked into their vision the way that you need to be locked into your vision because you you keep giving in to the distractions that's around you. That's what God told me. He said, you keep giving in to distractions. You wasting time. You doing things that you're not supposed to be doing that ain't serving you, that ain't, that ain't letting you meet your greatest good, your greater version of yourself. You so focused on distractions because for some strange reason, you think that God is still going to bless you and get you to where you need to be, even though you still dealing with distractions. But God told me to tell you this. See, one thing you got to understand about when you're doing stuff God's way, when you're depending on the Lord to be your provider, when you're depending on God to take you to the next level in your life, listen, listen, you're going to have to do it his way, period. You got to do it his way. It's his way or the highway. And see, a lot of people, a lot of people think that they intelligent enough and think they can outsmart and outwit God, but you can't do it because he way more intelligent than that. You know, he way more smarter than you. God knows you better than you know yourself. So what make you think you're going to outsmart God? It's just not going to work. So God told me to tell you enough of giving in to the distractions. No more giving in to distractions. No more wasting time. No more trying to cut the corners. No more trying to take the shortcuts and the easy way out. Because you think that you, since you just God's child, he going to just still continue to bless you. Yeah, it may be true. He going to still be there for you. Gonna, he going to still bless you. <clears throat> but this is what he not going to do. He not going to get you what you really want until you start doing it his way. And you know who you is. You know who you is. Some of y'all, if you watching this video, you probably was doing your distraction an hour ago. You probably was feeding in to your addiction yesterday. Yeah. You probably was hanging with people that you're not supposed to hang with last week. But God told me to tell you, listen, he not going to give you the desires of your heart. He not going to open up the door for you that you really want him to open until he see you locked in on your vision 120%. He want to see you locked in on your vision, period, period. And, and, and see, you got to be able to sacrifice stuff in order to do that. See, some of y'all still holding on to stuff that don't no longer serve you. Some of y'all still on level number two. And you're supposed to be on level number 50. Why? Because, why? Because you scared to give up something that you don't need no more. You scared to give it up and lock into the vision. And see, God know that God say, God see what's going on. He's he like, you know what? You ain't locking into the vision the way you're supposed to be locked in. And when you lock into a vision, you in it to win it, man. Ain't nobody going to take you off your game. You ain't worried about nothing else but doing your thing. You ain't worried about nothing else but your craft. 
That's the only thing you worried about. You ain't going to let nobody take you off your path because you locked in tunnel vision focus. Tunnel vision focus. That's how that's what's going to make it come to pass. If you got that sheer tunnel vision focus on what it is that you're trying to accomplish and don't everything else is irrelevant. You're going to get what God has for you. He's going to open up the doors for you and he's going to bless you because he see that you loyal and that you committed to what he put in your heart. That's why God put the dream in your heart. But he's not going to unlock the doors that you want to unlock until he actually see you go for your dream. You go for your vision. A hundred and ten percent. No matter what the circumstances look like, God say, listen, you, you ain't got nothing to do with that. Some of y'all be complaining. Ah, oh, man, God, my environment ain't right. Oh, one day when the sun come out, I can be, get out there and, and make it happen. Oh, man, I ain't got the time yet, man. I'm just waiting on it just to get this right. God said, you don't control the universe. He the one that's doing it. The only thing you got to do is walk on faith. He going to open the doors. See, one thing you got to understand about God and people, they two different things. See, people will make you think they got the key to your success, but they don't. See, people will sit back and judge you and critique you and, and, and try to make you feel bad. And they won't praise you. They won't clap for you. They won't send you a thank you card or nothing. They won't like nothing that you're doing. See, because they'll make they'll make you think that they your God. But God said, listen, it's not people who opened the doors for you. It's me. And see, some of y'all, some of y'all watching this video, somebody watching this video, you, you, you like a month away from your destiny. You, some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all supposed to be in your destiny already. You, you like a week away from blowing up. Something good gonna happen. And see, the only time God gonna unlock them doors is when he keeps seeing that you righteous in your walk. All right. And you know what you got to start doing. You know what you need to stop doing. And you know what you got to start doing. Because like I'm telling you what he said. He said if you continue to keep going back and backtracking and doing the same things that you know ain't no good for you. You're going to still you're gonna still be like it's like your thing's going to be on hold. All your blessings that you want going to be on, on hold. And you be like God why? Some of, of y'all be like God why? I feel like a million dollars. Why ain't got it yet? God, like, because you ain't listening to the whole word. You ain't listening to my whole voice. God wants you to do it this way and this way only. You can't manipulate God, folks. <clears throat> and so many people think they can take a shortcut to get to where God trying to get them to be. You can't do it, sonny. Either you're going to switch it up and you're going to start doing things this way or you're going to still be on this level tomorrow and today. You ain't going to change nothing. Nothing's going to change. But I can guarantee you when you start listening to the voice of God, when you start being pure, when you start locking into your vision, going after your goals, when you when God see you just up and you just take off, you don't even know where you're going to go. You just up, you take off. God going to open up doors for you. God will give you a place to stay. God will start putting money in your pocket that you never could put in your pocket until you start to do what he see you doing. Man, you couldn't tell me, boy. You couldn't tell me nothing. When God spoke to me and told me, Trent, I want you to, I want you to talk, man. I want you to inspire people. Man, you couldn't. Man, I, I got up. I, I started traveling everywhere in the country, bro. Just because I could do it. I could finally have the opportunity to do it. Man, I hopped on that plane, man. I ain't never looked back ever since. I ain't never looked back ever since. Now people begging me to come home. You feel me? Now, once upon a time I was at home, then nobody cared what I was doing. It was irrelevant. And I used to walk around the same way I do today with my camera, with my little notebook, my little pen, my paper, my backpack. And don't you know, nobody really gave two flying cares about what I was doing. Why? Because it wasn't up to them. It wasn't up to, it's not up to other people to have to care about what you're doing. It's what you and God got going on. If you and God already made a plan and y'all and he told you things that he going to do for you, that word ain't nobody for, but for you. People ain't going to be able to help you climb no ladder to your greatness. They ain't going to be able to tell you what you need to get to where you need to go. They ain't going to tell you what's going to be out there. You know, when you go out there and just try to like, 
you know, try to make it work. They don't know half of the people that you're looking for answers from. They don't even they don't even got the same vision as you. So they can't tell you what to expect. And some of y'all said back, y'all, y'all still mad at, 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 at Ray Ray and, and, and Mika now because they ain't worried about what you got going on. It's not their business to worry about what you got going on. It's only what you and God got planned. That's what make the difference. When you start pleasing God and start listening to his voice rather than your cousin, when you start listening to his voice rather than your, your mama now, right? When you start listening to his voice rather than your, the devil's voice, then God start blessing you and open the doors that you can't open by yourself. And then you'll be like, yo, I'm doing good today. You'll start feeling good. You'll start having more clarity. You'll start thinking more sharper. You'll start waking up in the morning on time. That's why I be already putting y'all on these mouse gummies. You'll start eating healthy. You'll start feeling wealthy. See, and that's the problem. You can't get into the feel-good energies because you don't you you falling into the distractions. And see, the devil know exactly what he hit you with every time, bro. The devil is the devil is meticulously calculated. Just when you think you're doing good, he going to send somebody in your life or he going he gonna to make something happen in your life so you can continue to repetitively repeat, repeat the cycle so you don't go nowhere. It keeps happening. It's not going to stop happening until you start listening to God's voice, until you start walking in tunnel vision. It's going to keep happening and you're going to be like, yo, I'm behind still. But I told you, if you listen to this message, I'm going to catapult you into the where you need to be. Because after this video, Cause after this video, that's what you're gonna have to do from this point on. It ain't no more. I'm not worried about uh, who, what my girl, my soul made it. Uh, what my twin flex. Some of y'all be worried about friend, friendships and relationships and finding your prince charming and try to find your dream man and all this and that. God, like, look, what do you want? Do you want? Do you want this or do you want that? Make up your mind. What you gonna lock into? Ton of it. Oh. You want to get with this man right here. But at the same time, you want to be successful, achieve your goal. God said it don't work like that. Either one or the other. Either you either you want to be hot or not, period. Because you're not going to find no happiness in no other person. It's not going to be in no other person. The happiness is within you. You're not going to be able to find yourself by trying to be with somebody else. That's old. You got to get your own stuff together first. You get your own stuff together, man, people will come to you versus you seeking and chasing some 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 fairy tale relationship and some person with a bag. I'm after that bag. I'm I'm after that bag. I was talking to this girl the other day. Just just she started talking to me. She first thing that came out of her mouth, I'm bored. Just just a low spirit. Just pretty girl, low spirit. I say, well, what's the problem? I want money. What you mean you want money, huh? What do you do for a living? I do this, but I'm not happy with it. But I want money. What? Money is not going to make you happy. It's going to make me happy because at least I can go shop all day. And, you know, I love material things. Like, boo, wake up. Open your eyes. That's not going to make you happy. God can give you all the money in the world. It's not going to make you happy just to shop. You still going to be empty at the end of the day. Shouts out to all my chosen ones, ladies out there. But she, she, listen, y'all can't be like these other chicks out here. They listen to the, they listen to the entertainment music and thinking it's reality. All your Cardi B's and your Beyonce's and all them other girls, City Hall girls and stuff y'all be listening to. Man, the reality of the situation is they somewhere in the multi-million dollar mansion that's paid for. Got a black card. Probably got A1 tip top credit. Okay. Shoe flay credit. They got a husband who they cater to, who they make full course dinners for every other day, making pies and baking, baking cakes for their kids, <clears throat> playing a submissive role, listening to the husband, and being a housewife, but making music that, that you that you listen to and it tells you you don't need a man. And you dancing to it while they the ones collecting the bag. That's the reality of it. But you never going to reach heights like that. You never going to be able to get bagged like that. You never going to be able to get banked like that until you lock into your vision. They locked into their visions.
what God put in their heart for them to do. They locked in. They followed it. They went after it. They pursued it with all their heart and accomplished it. Now they really make the bag. They weren't chasing no, they weren't chasing no Ray Ray, no Pookie. They locked into the vision. You chasing the bag, and nine times out of ten, you never gonna really get it. <laughs> you never gonna get it. Because a person, a person don't want to be with somebody that's miserable because they can't find what they're looking for because they're looking for everything outside of themselves rather than going on the inside and finding out what their vision and their purpose is. I'm telling you, boy, God told me to let you know some of y'all is long overdue and it ain't his fault. God always been there for you. He always been on time. He always been divine. He always had your behind when you didn't even have yourself together. He always been there. He just wait on you. And a lot of people, oh, I got to pray in the hope the Lord answered my prayer. The Lord answered the prayer as soon as you started praying. He knew you were going to pray before you started praying. It ain't him that you waiting on. You, you waiting on yourself. People kill me. <laughs> it's the Lord's will and by and by. God don't wait. God ain't even going to a club. God said, listen, the moment you spoke that prayer, I'm ready. What you going to do? God said back, like, what you going to do? I'm already God. I can do anything above and beyond all you can ever imagine. What you going to do? Oh, you ain't about that life. You just going to sit there and just talk about it and, and wish for it. You ain't going to make nothing happen. I can't work with you. See, God looking for people that's ready to walk, bro. God looking for people that's ready to go right now. We ready right now. We, we ain't waiting on to make this thing happen. I'm starting this business right now. I ain't waiting on the, the sun to come out. I'm making this video right now in the rain. I'm going to get mine. Y'all done seen me in the snow, in the rain, in the deserts, in all these oases and places and, and all kind of stuff going on around me trying to distract me. But I wasn't focused on that. I'm trying to get, I'm getting mine. Telling you, bro, lock into your vision. Everything else is irrelevant. You don't need to be talking to nobody if you don't need. If they ain't putting no value in you, ain't need to talk with them. You don't need to be hanging with people that ain't putting no value in you. Don't see the best in you. You don't need to be going out places that ain't trying to get you to your success. You don't need to be doing nothing other than focusing on your vision if you want to get to where you want to be in your life. Period. Everything else and everybody else is irrelevant. If they ain't talking about you and what you trying to accomplish, if they ain't trying to help you, ain't, we ain't got nothing to discuss. Period. Cut people off. It ain't no more time for the focusing on distractions. Cut them off. What they in your life for? Ask you. Ask yourself. What are these people in your life for? They don't do nothing for you. They're not investing to you. They're not giving you no money. They're not calling you greatness. God said, get rid of the distractions right now. Get rid of the distractions right now. I guarantee you, if you follow my voice and what I'm inspired to tell you in this video, I can guarantee you your next few days, your whole month this month is going to change and shift dynamic because everything that God has been having on hold for you, he's going to start releasing. And you're going to be like, yo, where has been the whole time? We was waiting on you your big bro trend man i'm gonna have to go make me another video now i don't ran up this thing huh make sure you get you some sea moss gummies man the most healthiest supplement out there right now i'm energized up eating them sea moss gummies i might turn into a gummy get you some sea moss gummies in the uh link below it's gonna say sea moss link get a discount on me load up man it's health is wealth man health is wealth I'm out here. I'm getting that old, that photosynthesis. What is not photosynthesis? That vitamin D. Yeah. God said, lock into your vision and he'll open doors that you never could open before. Make sure you speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe. Share this video with somebody who you might think need this video. It's your big bro, Trend. I'll see you until next time. Peace.